Hi Pisces, we're going to be doing another love reading. So let's jump into this, Pisces. What messages do you have for Pisces? For Pisces. Okay. Okay, we have the Three of Wands reverse on your energy. I have ooh, the Queen of Wands reverse and the Three of Cups. Interesting. Let's see what's going on right now. Four of Wands and Six of Wands reverse. Okay, Queen of Cups reverse for your person's energy with the Devil. Wow, Capricorn energy there. In the near future, we have the Ten of Cups. And you know, this this is like the third reading I do where the Ten of Cups is the near outcome or the near future outcome. Happiness, happy ending. Um, and I don't know what's going on with my signs this month, but almost everybody's dealing with something that is difficult or the energies between you are, I mean, there's something going on. Um, for example, you have the four of wands with the six of wands reversed. So there's something that's either hasn't had the chance to be successful or isn't really successful right now. So let's get some more information. Let's look at the romance angels. Spirit, give me some more insight into this connection for Pisces. I feel like you're both mirroring each other. You with the Queen of Wands reverse and then with the Queen of Cups reverse. And I have a feeling one of you could be in a marriage. So I have the Four of Wands here, the Ten of Cups here, and the Three of Cups here. So let's see. Tell me more. What are, what What can you tell me about this connection between Pisces and this other person's spirit. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Bottom of the deck, healing family issues. Interesting. I feel like you've been waiting for something a long time with the, the Three of Wands reverse. So let's get some more information here before I kind of dig into what I'm kind of seeing. I feel like there's something not, it's almost like you're not happy, but they're not happy either. Let me clarify these energies, please. Yeah, maybe there's potential here for happiness with the Ten of Cups. Let me clarify these energies. Okay, so let's start with this Three of Wands reverse. This is kind of like the recent past. Tell me about the Three of Wands reverse. The Nine of Pentacles with the Moon. Yeah, it's almost like you've been wondering, maybe you've been single doing well on your own. Um, maybe you've been um, focused on work, career. And it's almost like you it's almost like you're waiting for something that you can't see with this moon. Tell me about the moon. There's um something that you're not aware of or hidden here. Tell me about the moon. And there you are, Pisces, showing up to your own reading, by the way, with the moon. Tell me about the moon. Judgment. Wow. Tell me more about the moon. It's almost like what you don't know. There's going to be like a big wake-up call here. Empress, wow. And the three of wands upright. Yes, you guys have been waiting for this. You've been waiting for, for something here. For someone to, to have a, to maybe a second chance or, or maybe there's some sort of awakening that's going to be taking place or has already taken place. I feel with this nine of pentacles and the empress, like you are a prize. You have a lot to offer. Um, and I almost get like, maybe you've, you've had some sort of premonition here or, uh, some sort of, um, it's like you, like I'm looking at this empress and she's like, I know, I knew this was going to happen. Or, uh, this awakening is just adding to my abundance. That's what I'm picking up here. I feel like maybe a lot of you have been waiting for this um declaration that's like what i feel like there's something that's going to be said or something that you're going to find out 
or something that's going to come to the surface here. Um, and I feel like it's something you've been waiting just to happen. And all this time while you've been waiting, you've been possibly working on yourself or manifesting for yourself. Very interesting. So let's look at what this Four of Wands is. What's, why, why is the Four of Wands here? Four of Wands here. The High Priestess. Again with the secrets or the unknown. With the moon, um, maybe there's something that's not being communicated here. Tell me more about the Four of Wands. It's it's like intuition. Like you I don't know what I'm I'm picking up such strange energy here, but it's it's like I understand it <laughs> even though and I think that's what you're going through right now too it's like you might not be able to see something clearly like you might not be able to even point out at any evidence but you just know three of swords why is the three of swords here four of wands Nope. Why am I saying four of wands? Four of pentacles reversed. Interesting. I have the king of cups at the bottom of the deck with the three of wands again. Yeah, it's like you're waiting for a king of cups. Or you're waiting for a declaration of love or for someone to admit how they feel, to express how they feel. Yeah, look at this. Page of cups right after that. It's like you're waiting for this. You haven't fully let go of this. Even though I have the Four of Wands here. It's oh, Tell me more about this Three of Swords. Maybe this didn't work in the past with this person. Maybe you've gone through a lot with this person. Or there's an... Inch, ooh, Ace of Swords reversed. Yes, okay. So I feel like there's there was something here that didn't work that was painful that was difficult um maybe there were secrets deception here but i feel like with the high priestess it's like you knew and it's been hard to let this go that's what i'm picking up here tell me about the six of wands reverse of course this is a general reading pisces it will not resonate for everyone watching why is the six of wands reverse four of swords reverse Knight of Wands reverse. Yes, there could have been infidelity here. And this could be in your connection specifically with, with this person. Or one of you could be in another connection where this is happening. This is very restless energy. Someone jumped in without thinking possibly or uh, made an impulsive decision that led to a, a mistake. Yeah, I feel like this was a, the wrong choice or maybe they were trying to keep their options open or something like that. I feel like that was a mistake. Ten of Swords reverse with the Strength card and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, they've had to be strong because this has been a difficult mistake. And I don't know, for some reason, I don't know if this was like a marriage between you or there's a third party. And someone maybe was not faithful. Let's see how you're feeling about each other. What are your energies? I'm using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck for this. This is linked down below. Spirit, give me some insight into Pisces and this other person. What are their energies in this connection? Their energies in this connection. Tell me about Pisces and what they're thinking or feeling. What energies are they bringing to this connection? Tied up, trapped, stuck, burdened. You're feeling trapped in a situation and are looking for a way out. Can I get one more for Pisces? Pisces, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other, but the energy can be flipped. So flip it if it resonates more for you. Tell me more about Pisces, please. Taking action, movement, action, courage. Time to make a move. 
this tied up could also be um, something like maybe you're feeling stuck in your head or in a physical, maybe you're physically limited. Um, and that's why you need to take some sort of action. At the bottom of the deck, I have happy endings. So this is all about uh, emotional fulfillment, happiness, um, taking action towards your own happiness here. Okay, what about this other person that Pisces is dealing with? What are their energies? Their energies. Poetic justice, fairness, balance, karma. You will have justice and balance will be restored. It could be a legal situation also that your person is dealing with. Um, I feel like maybe they're either they're experiencing karma right now or they're wanting to fix a situation here. Oh, sudden realization, clarity, truth, epiphany. A sudden realization has brought new clarity. And then you'll never believe <laughs> at the bottom of the deck, I have judgment calls. So this is the judgment card here. These two someone's this person has going through a realization and probably the realization here is your value your worth what you bring to the table pisces maybe you've just been waiting for someone to realize this about you um and i feel like this is going to happen very soon i'm not sure what the finances and career thing is maybe you feel like um in order to, to leave a situation or become unstuck you need to um something here with finances or perhaps uh if someone is doing a having a legal situation or experiencing a legal situation right now maybe finances are tied up there i have judgment calls this is like a gavel and then the poetic scale or the just justice scales here so i feel like there's possibly a, a legal situation for a lot of you or some sort of government uh entity or official building official decision um but more than anything, I'm feeling like someone has realized their karma, has learned from their past mistakes with the judgment card. Okay, so let's clarify your energies. Tell me more, spirit. So Pisces. And it's interesting because I have the devil here. That's also a card about restriction. Tell me about the Queen of Wands reverse. Why is the Queen of Wands reverse? Knight of Swords reverse. So you're upset at some sort of deception or maybe um, fighting words have been exchanged here. Okay, so yeah, there's something here with finances. Some of you are probably upset regarding your financial situation or you're upset because some sort of deception have led to a loss financially or perhaps a broken commitment here why is the three of cups here tell me if this is resonating down in the comments Pisces why is the three of cups here oh I got two the tower and the ten of wands are you kidding me something happened with the third person here is what I think is going on yeah seven of swords reverse so you caught someone doing something or whatever happened here with this tower um, I feel like um, you found out or there was something like a revelation, a secret that came to light. And I think there's baggage now in this connection. Someone could have um, been juggling multiple people here as well. Maybe um, if this is not, this could also be a family situation where family have become a, a burden and interference, uh, you know, whatever, sister-in-laws, brothers-in-laws or family drama. Tell me more about this tower. Tell me more about this tower. Ooh, this was in the form of communication or perhaps someone left. Yeah, I have the eight of cups here. Someone could have literally moved away or walked away because of this tower. Could be you or this other person. I can tell you that neither of you are happy. Why is the queen of cups reverse? Yeah, King of Cups reverse. Why is the Queen of Cups reverse? Four of Wands again. Yeah, there's heartbreak, disappointment. Um, and this is regarding a home or regarding a family. Okay, so Knight of Pentacles and then the Eight of Swords reverse with the Six of Cups. So I think that's why this person um, wants to possibly, they could be wanting to restore what happened or give you some sort of offer here. 
This offer could be anything, could even be money. Uh, this could be an opportunity that someone wants. So why the devil? Why is the devil down here? Yep. There's been some sort of ending, separation, maybe even a breakup. And it's like an ending, maybe due to betrayal. I don't know if your person caused this. Yeah, this is regarding some sort of like commitment here with the Hierophant. Or again, with the government, like a government decision. Because the Hierophant, Hierophant can symbolize like an official institution or government entity. Can I get one more for the devil? This is Capricorn energy. Get one more, please. Nine of Cups reverse. Okay. I feel like, yeah, this, this person, um, I'm seeing it two ways. Either they became, um, they added to an, un, uh, to the toxicity or unhealthiness of this connection. Um, maybe your connection became unhealthy, uh, due to the baggage, you know, the, the arguing, the fighting, or just the, the deception or the third party interference. Um, I'm also picking up that this person is in a marriage or in a commitment and they're stuck or feel stuck. Um, they don't know what to do about this or undecided. So I'm seeing both things. I feel like this person wants to manifest. What do they want to manifest? A way out of the cold. Yeah, there's justice. Yeah. Poetic justice. Libra energy here. So I feel like this person is trying to manifest a way back in. Regardless of what the situa situation is that they find themselves in now. Let's see. Let me get some more information about how they're thinking or feeling about you. Tell me more, Spirit. What are they thinking or feeling? What are they thinking or feeling? What are they thinking or feeling about Pisces? I'm using my Secret Moon Oracle deck. I'm overwhelmed. That's that Ten of Wands. But I'm also getting like, they're not doing well possibly with what's been happening. I want to see you. One more, please. I feel like this person is very unhappy with the Nine of Cups reverse. They could even be drinking a lot or um, indulging in something a little bit too much. I'm afraid to tell you how I feel and then I'm taking action. So, okay. I feel like this person, um, that's that two of swords. I feel like they're back and forth. They want to see you um, and they want to take action, but it's almost like they're afraid and I'm picking up, it's like they're afraid of your reaction. <laughs> Not sure why they would be afraid of your reaction, but I'm picking that up here. Almost like they don't know how you're going to take something. Tell me more about this Ten of Cups. This is what's happening in the near future here. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Page of Swords. Okay, so there could be communication coming in, Pisces. Um, this person could also be observing you, watching you on social media, keeping tabs on you. The Wheel of Fortune. Wow. That's beautiful. So there's going to be a big shift here for you that leads to happiness. And I don't know if it's with this person or because you're no longer with this person. I feel like it's going to be different for all of you. Yeah, this is like a new opportunity for you, right? Be, um, with the death card here. So I feel like there's some sort of change taking place, like a new direction you're going in, um, a new path you're going down, a new choice you're making, um, it's going to be completely different, I feel. I don't know if you're going to talk to this person and then things are going to improve, maybe change, or if you're just choosing a whole different path altogether without this person and it's going to bring about uh, a new opportunity for you. Because the Ten of Cups, that's like the happy ending card. Yeah, I feel like this is, you know, whatever has been in the way, I think that's just, that was just part of... I don't know what you're leaving behind is what I'm thinking here with the temperance card and the death card in between these two. It's almost like things are coming together with temperance, you know, along with changes and changes and endings. And I feel like the change or the end is regarding something here that's in the way of a new beginning for you. 
So I feel like the obstacles are going to kind of like disappear. And I feel like you're taking action to, to head down this path. And I think this person can sense it because they're wanting to jump in here and see you. And, you know, it's like they've gotten clarity about what you're worth or, or what they want to offer you here with the Knight of Pentacles. And it's like, I want to come too. I want to have this happy ending too, is what I'm picturing here. You know, like, don't leave me behind. <laughs> um, but again, that's going to be your choice. Um, if this did not resonate for you, then check out my playlist for Pisces. But if it did resonate, then let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And I'll see you all with, in another video very soon. Take care.